Hi, Python strings find a string. In this challenge, the user enters a string and a substring. You have to print the number of times that the substring occurs in the given string. String traversal will take place from left to right and not from right to left. The first line of the input contains the original string. The next line contains the substring. So this is the main string and uh, uh, we need to find uh, this substring and how many times this substring has occurred in this uh, main string. Okay, let's go to the code. So we are getting two inputs from user, the main string and the substring, and we are passing this uh, two inputs as arguments uh, to this function count underscore substring, and we are calling this function. So this is where we need to write our logic. So for reference, let me print out this uh, string and uh, substring. Now we will look through this uh, main string print sorry for i in range of len of uh, string I'll just print the string characters string of so let's check the output. Okay, so uh, this is the output uh, main string and uh, the substring, and we are printing each character in the main string. So if we can get uh, uh, this output uh, in the count of uh, three, then we will be able to uh, compare uh, these values uh, with this, and we can find the number of occurrences. So I'll do that. So here uh, we are getting uh, from string of i, and then I'll go to string of i plus three. Okay. Yeah, so we are getting it in the count of uh, three and uh, this last uh, uh, two values. Uh, so it's at the end of this loop. So we actually do not need this uh, uh, two values so we can stop the uh, looping uh, till here so i'll do that so len of string minus len of substring and it starts from zero so i'll add one sub underscore string so let's uh, run the code okay and uh, we are not getting the last two uh, outputs so effectively we are reducing uh, two loops here and uh, one more thing so we have uh, mentioned a, a constant value here so this length of this uh, substring uh, might change according to the input so i will change this uh, three to len of substring okay, so again uh, let's run the code okay now it is easy to compare uh, these two values so i'll just uh, use a if condition if string of i till i plus 3 is equal to substring then count plus equal to uh, one. I will initialize the count here. Count equal to zero. And I'll uh, so these lines are not needed. And I'll return this uh, count. okay yeah so i think uh, that's it let's uh, run the code yeah so it passed the initial test case uh, 
let me submit it okay it's taking some time and it passed all the test cases cool so that's the solution thank you everyone for uh, listening and if you like this video uh, hit the like button and if you like the content consider subscribing see you later